Hey basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about screens in basketball. Now this may not seem like a major thing that you need to learn, but believe me, it is. So there's multiple, multiple, multiple different types of screens. I'm going to talk to you about three today. There's the basic screen and roll. There's the pin down screen as well as the back screen. And I'm going to explain what each one of those does and also how to set them in basketball. So number one, obviously we do not need a basketball right now. That's gonna roll off somewhere. But to set a screen and roll is very simple. All you're going to do is set up a screen on your player. Let's say your player's right here, he has the ball, his defender's right here, simple. You set that screen, he runs by you, he's gonna brush his shoulder or get really close to your shoulder. You're going to then roll, and I always like, if this player wants to try and fight through that screen underneath, I always used to like setting that screen and sealing that man first so that it forces a switch. Especially when I was younger and I was playing center, I always like to try and force that player to switch because if I force him to switch onto me, now there's an advantage for me because if I'm a big man setting a screen for a small man, if they switch, I now have a smaller defender on me. So to do that is set that screen. If he fights underneath, spin quickly. Make sure you get your elbows out. You don't want to have your arms out. You want your elbows out and then show that arm here. And you want to show that arm where you want that ball. You want that hand exactly where you want that ball. If it's a taller defender who switched off on you, you might want to put your hand down here. If it's a shorter player, you might want to put it up here. Now, when you're rolling to your left side this way, technically you're right, but towards the left side of the basket, what you want to do is put that target up, bring that ball down towards your left side, and then take that dribble. Now you should really only have one dribble after a screen and roll. So you set that screen, you seal, and then you roll. You get that ball, then you bring it down, one dribble, one, two, and up. Make sure to have that guard hand or that guide hand or that defending hand from the block because that's going to allow you to be able to score in that basket without getting your shot blocked. Now, onto a pin down screen. Okay, so now a pin down screen is when you're a wing player and you're setting a pick or a screen for the low post player. Basically a pin down screen is when you're setting a screen down towards the block. He uses that screen and you can do one of two things. Obviously there's a few other extras that you could do, but if you're a center setting a screen down to a smaller man, something like a box offense where you're starting up at the elbow and then you're a big man setting a screen down for a guard, if that guard tries to fight this way, then you seal him on this side to try and force that, that switch. Now, if he tries to fight over top, and it's a guard and you're a center, you set that screen and then you seal on this side, again, to try and force that switch. You wanna try and force a switch if you're a big man setting a screen down to a small player, mainly because now, after you have set that screen and you've sealed and you've forced a switch, now you've got, maybe you're my height at six foot two, and you're now being guarded by a five foot seven player. He has absolutely zero chance of trying to block your shot. You don't even have to take a dribble. You just need to turn around and do a hook shot. It's super simple. However, if you're a smaller player setting a screen down for a bigger player, you might want to do two different things. So the first option is to set that screen and then if he tries to fight this way, you seal that way, you're still trying to force a switch. Now, he should be popping out towards that side, up towards the free throw line extended. And if that's the case, you're gonna wanna go out towards the wing because now, if they can swing that ball to you and you've got a bigger player on you and you're shorter and faster, you should be able to beat that player out in the wing. However, if he pops out after your pin down screen, if your, if your center, your big man, pops out towards the, uh, the wing, then what you need to do is, especially if his man tries to fight you over top, seal, and then go to the high post. Because now, when you're in that high post, you've got a big man over there, you've got maybe your guard up top, and now, 
if you force that switch and you're still a smaller player with now a bigger player on you, you've now moved out to an area where you can really work on that defender, where you can get that ball and you can take a one or two dribble move towards the basket. And if you are faster than that defender, then you're going to be able to score quite easily. And now for the third screen I'm going to talk about today, and that is the back screen. So this is a screen where a player from the low post or a player who's cutting baseline will pop out towards the wing and set what's called a back screen on their player and on their player's defender. So let's say we have a player with the ball over here. Let's say that ball stayed there. And he's got a defender who's defending like this, for example. And he's really watching his man. Well, you can actually come up from behind, set that screen sometimes without even him knowing and your player is going to cut baseline it opens him up for a layup or maybe an open shot from the far three now you can force a switch on this as well so what i mean by that is if your player goes baseline this player tries to follow him and he's going to try and fight you on the, this right side well you can seal you can seal that player by setting that screen as soon as your player runs by you you seal that player now that's forcing a switch. If your player doesn't switch, then that man's wide open. If they do end up switching, you now can cut towards the rim yourself. You can get that ball and go up for that layup. Now, if he tries to fight over top, which means that you set that back screen and he tries to cut this way, you can now seal this way. And again, same idea, wait for them to switch, cut towards the basket, get that ball, easy layup. When I teach my players how to screen, I always want to have them try and force a switch. There's a reason why we're setting screens. It's to get players open, but also to create mismatches. This is how I coach, and this is how I train players about screening uh, in games. Anyways, I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. These are very important tips, especially with the league and every other league around the world switching over to a screen and roll type of offense. These are going to get your teammates open, and it's going to get you open for easy baskets. I hope that you've enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. If you want to try and support this channel, go check out the merch in the link in the description below, but also in the bottom shelf of this video. I'll see you guys in my next video.